Hey guys and welcome back into my channel. Today I wanted to do a little video for you using cool eyeshadow um, colors from my new Profusion palette that I picked up at TJ Maxx. I will link it down below. It was super inexpensive and I picked this palette up along with some other um, eyeshadow palettes and things on my little TJ Maxx haul that I have on my channel as well. So there, um, I will link that up above if you want to um, look at that video as well. So let's jump right into the video and I will show you how I got this look. So I am just going to start with this blush that I have here. This is the Vegas Nay. It's like a trio. I'm going to use this lightest pink shade on the end. And I really like the brush that came with this. Yeah, there you go. It's pretty nice for, you know, as inexpensive as this. Okay, so I have put on my foundation and concealer. I have the Shape Tape Concealer on. My foundation is Smashbox. And I just used the Fit Me um, powder to set it. And, um... I added this blush. Um, so I really just want to focus on doing a cool um, smoky eye look for you guys. And I'm going to be using the Profusion palette. And I thought since I don't really do too many uh, cool looks that I wanted to do that one for you today. So. We're going to do a combination of, let's start with, we're going to start with this pale gray color up here in this palette. And this palette does not name the colors, unfortunately, guys, so sorry about that. I did pick this palette up. Um, the other week at um, TJ Maxx. And that color is actually going on pretty dark, but that's all right. We're going to go for a smoky eye anyway, so. It's really interesting how people will either gravitate more towards a warm eyeshadow palette or a cool eyeshadow palette and I am definitely guilty of always being excited by the warm palettes but whenever I do a cool eyeshadow look I always think you know what these colors look good you know a lot of people can wear both warm and cool depending on the tone and shade that you use so I'm just kind of putting this in the crease and then I'm bringing the color down on top of my lid. Really just kind of want a base color. And then I want to go in with a brow color, like a light brow color. So I'm going to go in with this lightest shade right here. Just so the colors pop and the like differentiation between the shades and I'm going to also put a little of that right on my lower the part of my upper lid here and then I'm going to take a pencil brush and go right back into that same gray and just kind of drag some color um, into my lower lash I really love this technique and I think especially when you're doing like a glam or evening look it really changes the look of your your eye makeup dramatically when you you know have this shadow under your lower lash it just does so much to emphasize your eyes I already have my brows done, by the way. Didn't want to bore you with that. So now I'm going to go in with a darker shade. Um, we're going to go in 
with this color right here. And I'm just going to blend this into my outer V. And then just kind of buff it and blend it, keep on blending it. So I just concentrate that on my outer portion of my eye. And then I blend it, but I'm careful not to like just put it everywhere. Usually I will take my brush and just kind of flick up um, kind of blend it up and out, especially at my age. I don't want the shadow to drag my eye down, so I'm just flicking up and out. And it may look like really overly dramatic at the moment, but once I have the rest of my eye makeup on, it will all come together. And then I want to pick up um, one of these shimmer shades with my finger. I'm going to go with this one here. And I feel like using your finger is the best way to, um, you know what, that's too warm. That's like a gold shade. Let's instead use, hold on one second. Let's go ahead and use this shimmer shade here. It is like a purple gray, but I think it'll go really nicely. And I'm just gonna pop it right on my lid. Yep, I like that. And I just want to continue blending out a little bit. Sometimes when I use an eyeshadow brush, I feel like it's not once in a while, it's just not taking away the excess color that I need it to, so I will grab a Q-tip, and that always removes or helps blend, you know, when you have excess color. Um, I mean, I do recommend adding your eyeshadow in layers, you know, a little bit of color at a time, so that you never really have to worry about taking too much excess away. And then I am going to line my eye using the black Lancome Crayon Eyeliner. I don't know about you guys, but my allergies are so bad lately. Um, I love the weather and I love spring, but I feel like I am constantly sneezing. And I like to open my windows at night, um, depending on how hot it is. And, you know, I just love the way it feels and I love to hear, like, the crickets at night. And um, I feel like it's making my allergies worse. So, I started taking an allergy pill in the evening. It's um, just like a generic, it's loratadine. I'm sure you've heard of it. Um, you can get it at the grocery store or anywhere, drugstore. And, um... That seems to be helping. Plus, when you take it at night, it, um, it has kind of a drowsy side effect, which is kind of nice. And then I'm going to go over that with my Tarte Sex Kitten Liquid Liner in black.
I also feel like with a cool eye, um, I don't know why, it just seems like cool shades are definitely more of a dramatic look. Um, because grays and, you know, can easily get super dark, so. And then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Black Mascara. I love most of the L'Oreal formulas, um, but I am constantly trying new mascara, and I do like this one. It's a double-sided wand. It feels like the brush really grabs your lashes and pulls and lengthens them. I've always wanted to, or I'm tempted to try eyelash extensions, but I know of a few of my friends who have and all of them have had not great experiences. Um, my one friend, her eyelids got super swollen and I guess she had an allergic reaction to the glue that they use and then she wound up having to take them off because she was so irritated and couldn't wear her contacts or do any eye makeup. She was so, you know, bothered by the, um, I guess, contact dermatitis is what you call it, from the glue reaction. And then my other friend um, that got hers done at a different place um, found that they just fell off um, super fast. And the, the price she was paying wasn't worth, you know, every couple weeks, so... I guess that's what stopped me from doing it. Plus, I honestly you know it's crazy, but I don't think I could lay still that long in order for someone to. I'm just like a super fidgety. I can't sit still that long. So, I don't know. I think I'll stick to uh, just a good mascara or some falsies. I'm going to just line my lips. This is a NYX uh, lip pencil and it's in mahogany. This is also a uh, pretty cool tone. I just line the outside of my lips and then I go in with my color. This is just, I'll have to link it down below because I can't see without my glasses. This is a, just like a nude lip color lipstick. It has some shimmer to it. I'm just going to go ahead and put that over it. Um, bring my hair down, see what we think of this look. I should have probably curled my hair, but this is how it looks with just a round brush. Um, sometimes I like to give my hair a break and not add so much heat to it, but anyway. So this is how the look turned out. Close my eyes so you can see the eyeshadow. So I do like this. And um, there wasn't any real fallout, to be honest, with this palette. So I do recommend. I can't believe the price point was so low. I believe it was $6.99, but I'll link it down below. And that is from TJ Maxx. So there is my little cool eyeshadow um, mini tutorial for you. 
and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Please do uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see all my future videos. My next video is going to be a spring lookbook, and then after that I want to film my YouTube studio here, so I'll give you guys kind of an inside look into that. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.